Hi, it's John. Um, it's the 27th of April, and we've really had April showers today. And uh, I'm going to go off to do a video at the Dorset Side Gap. So, got my tripod, got Broly, map, and wellies. I can go one of two ways, either through Buckland Newton or through Alton Pancras and Plush. Well, I'm going to go the Plush way because I don't go this way very often. This is just coming into Piddle Trentide. I found a little place. It's not very easy to find on the map, but I sort of forgot the idea where it was. And I've been here before. Operating the camera with one hand under the umbrella. And it is left here for the Dorset Shire Gap. Going on intuition, I think it's that way. At the last resort, look at the map. But I think I'm going to go the path to the left. That's looking back. Might just be able to make out the uh, top Piddle Valley behind those trees. Um, I must be nearly there now. I'm getting hot. Now, if anybody's um, coming on this route, trying to follow my the way I'm going, you get to this point and you go through that gate. This is to get to the Dorset Shire Gap. You go through that gate and then you go left and You go over by those, uh, that sort of water tower, that tanky thing there, and that takes you t to the Dorsetshire Gap. It's not very far from there, about half a mile, this is about half distance here. This is all um, sort of wildlife protected around here. I've just been through a field and it's full of skylarks. And just come through this gate now and there's um, what you call a dew pond so it's a hole and then they line it out with clay and it fills up with water for cattle to drink out of and uh, there it is full of water and there's a sort of way for the water to get out over there on the on the left Can you hear the skylark above my panting and the autofocus of the camera? And there are the cattle to drink at the dew pond. And that's where we're going down there. A sign is very reassuring. There's such a gap. Well, I'm well on the way to the gap now, and these ancient sunken paths got lots of wildlife in. This type of euphorbia, this sort of, is it a scabious? I uh, can't remember what the name of it is, but it's very nice. All sorts of wildflowers along here. Well, here I am at the Gap. And this is where the five paths meet. A 
One, two, three, that's the one I've come down. Four, this one looks the most interesting. Um, that one goes to higher Melchcum. Higher Melcom with an E on the end. With a B and an E on the end. And that's only a quarter of a mile down there. And then this one, I'm going to go up there in a minute. That one goes to the hill fort. Oh, I remember. And there's a box there. I think it's got supplies in or something. I have to have a look in the box. So here's the little box. It's got a brick on top of it. And someone's lost their welly. And they've left that there. And I've just had a look inside it, actually. And it's got bags inside it. I'll put that brick back on in a minute. And for notes about, you know, when, uh, you know, if you've been here. I'm going to put a note now in. 27th of April. Plenty of cow slips up here. Now this is looking towards the north. Uh, what should we say? Looking towards Shaftesbury, possibly. And you can see all the rain coming. There's quite a lot of rain in those uh, clouds, and you can see it all pouring down on the um, on the horizon. So, it's like I'm going to get wet again. Never mind. Hmm. This bit's very Van Gogh, or Van Gogh, or Van Gogh. The smell of the countryside here is gorgeous. Hmm. Bluebells and blackthorn. Well, I'm more or less back, and just in front of me, about 200 yards is the road, and then beyond that is the path up that hill. And uh, that will take 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 a person up to where that last video that I did ended. Well, not ended, but uh, where we turned to do a more circular walk. So that up there is uh, is uh, we'll get get you back to um, Henley Buckland Newton over there, over that hill.